Next on the list, we have Compass. Now, Compass is also, once again, uh, part of a group of reports that starts to use a little bit of machine learning to analyze your data and provide with more insights. We saw that with, uh, with personas, and now we see it again here. Uh, so let's break down this report. Uh, so we'll start by selecting uh, some kind of cohort. So let's say uh, new users. Sure, let's keep that. And then we'll take an ad, like view ad. We, we've been using that quite a bit. And then we'll predict how that affects some, something. Let's say second week retention, right? Uh, so in this case, the way this will work here is you have a new user, and then how many of those new users were uh, retained in the second week by firing some kind of active event. That will be the way that this will get calculated. We can see the, as you remember, the anything that has the amplitude logo means it's some kind of system default uh, type of segment or option that gets calculated based on something, some kind of setting that you have. So uh, remember, you can set uh, what an active user means. And from there, you have a lot of things that get preset based on that. Uh, so yeah, so we have new users, a specific view ad within uh, seven days of, uh, of use, right? And then the, the second week retention. So now we get the little query again, right? So for amplitude new users, how well does performing view ad within the seven days of first use predict that they'll be uh, retained in the second week? So this summarizes the report quite nicely. And in here we get we get correlations. We get a little bit of statistics. Uh, we're, not, we're not gonna dive deep into the statistics itself, but if, uh, if you do want that, you can actually look at the amplitude documentation. But in here in the sense, um, what we're trying to understand is how many times does this event need to be fired and does it correlate well with secondary retention? In this case, we have a, you know, a more of the predictive. So we're saying that uh, this event tends to be correlated well with second week retention, and it was performed at least uh, more than once, right? And the percent of users who did this was 18%. Uh, this kind of reports were born out of this um, idea or maybe uh, story that Facebook told at one point uh, where they said, hey, you know what? We realized when we look at our data that uh, if users add, uh, I think it was something like, 12 friends in the first seven days of signing up for Facebook, they'll be retained for a really long time, right? So that, that story has become uh, quite popular in the startup world and the software world. Uh, so this report was basically built to answer something like that. You take some critical event uh, like uh, view ad or maybe some other event in your product that is critical. You take something like second week retention or second month retention, whatever it is. Look at some kind of cohort, say new users, and then say, show me that, uh, show me that you know, those, those handful of events that if users do them in a certain amount of quantity, it will, it will increase the probabilities of them being retained. That's, that's what we're trying to answer here, right? And it's not, it's not just about finding the specific event, it's about finding the specific quantity of events. And from there, a company's gonna say, okay, if we know that uh, a user needs to add 10 friends in seven days, then we can assign, let's say, messaging sequence, or we can assign uh, parts of the app or something to guide users towards this goal. Uh, what's nice about, about this, this idea, and maybe in practice it's not as, as simple as it sounds, but what's nice about the idea is it, it can be a, a nice way to, to unite a company around something that makes sense for everybody. Right? If you say, hey, we're focusing on ensuring that users add 10 friends in the first seven days to sign up for the product, that's something that, that can be translated uh, relatively clearly to everyone on different teams from UX and design and product and marketing and so on. Everyone can sort of have this, this single goal to work towards. Um, so th that's what this report is built upon, right? And of course, Amplitude in this case provides a lot of their, their data behind it, which is great. Uh, so if, if you want to dig into some of the assumptions uh, that they're doing around how they correlate things, this is all here. Uh, but this, this could start to give you a bit of uh, I, uh, some ideas around this. Now I've seen companies, they have questions that can be answered by, by this report. And there's also some questions that can be answered by other things, maybe Pathfinder uh, and so on. Uh, sometimes the companies want to say, uh, show me, what events you should are doing that will correlate nicely with them becoming a paid subscriber, right? So that's something that you could do here. It might be something that maybe Pathfinder can answer or a few things. So uh, in Amplitude, you have a few different ways of slicing uh, the same question. Uh, but this report is, is quite popular. Once again, just like some of the other more, uh, the machine learning power reports, this does require a sort of minimum amount of data, right? So if you're just starting out, it's likely something like this is not gonna be statistically correct or really useful. But once you're a higher level of data, uh, this, this can become very helpful. And this is one of the reports that's, uh, I believe, available only under the enterprise plan. So typically, if, if you sign up for Amplitude Enterprise, that's not really an issue. But for everyone else who, who's not, keep that in mind. This is not a, a magic uh, bullet to, to solve all your problems. Uh, but very handy report, a lot of flexibility as before, uh, and we, we can really dig into this uh, to understand 
uh, how different events correlate with different uh, end goals or outcomes.